fixing to make a little sumac aid here. These seed heads are actually from smooth sumac. Well, basically, I started off with this, and I cut all the individual little seed heads off. Then I'm going to stuff them down in this bag right here, and then bruise them up so it'll release the uh, flavor quicker. And uh, we'll get to that in just a second. All right, I've got the first one done, and in the in the jar. One word of caution, when you're doing this, make sure you're checking well for critters in there. I just pulled two stink bugs out of here. I'm doing this in my side yard, so you're going to hear some cars going down the road. All right, we got that stuff done in the bag. We'll close this up. Then we're going to gently crush the berries. Not too gently. And I do this this way so I don't have to strain those out later. You can actually put these berries in your mouth raw and it'll give you a chew on them a little bit and it'll give you a little citrus flavor. You really don't want to swallow them though because uh, there's little hairs on the on the seed heads that uh, can irritate your throat. All right, now that we've got both of those in the jar, I'm just going to cover this with water. Okay, so there was a little change of plans last night when I was finishing this up. The wife called me and wanted to go to dinner, so uh, I stopped what I was doing and did that. Uh, as you can see, this has become a nice pretty pink. Uh, I think it's about ready for the taste test. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see me keel over. Sumac Aid, Country Boy Lemonade, Poor Man's Lemonade, whatever you want to call it. Car going down the road, interrupting my video, of course. Uh, got that kind of lemony taste to it. Not too tart. Oh, all in all, a good experiment. Uh... That particular uh, batch of berries that I had weren't exactly as ripe as I'd like them to be, but they came out pretty good. So, here's to recap. Uh, a couple of good sized berry heads from, from sumac. Staghorn sumac is what I prefer, but the other sumacs will be fine as long as you're not getting poison sumac. You can tell the difference. Uh, cold water just to cover that up. Remember to bruise your berries up before you put them in. Now you can either put them in a bag like I did, so you don't have to strain all that stuff out later, or you can put them directly in the water, which actually transfers a little bit faster. Uh, but if you prefer, you can. Uh, uh, you, you need to uh, strain all that stuff out later. So that's about what we got going on. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this cup. You guys have a good day. Lee in the woods. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. All the other stuff that I'm supposed to say. See y'all later.